hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that uh, how basically we can use the pug uh, template engine inside our node.js express application and we will be displaying the data from a json placeholder api which is a free uh, free fake rest api for developers we will be fetching basically this uh, user data guys we will be making a simple axios so http get request to this endpoint you can see json placeholder api type of code users so this will return this json response to us and we will be displaying the name username and uh, you will see basically in the screen here we will be displaying this information here inside the table like structure so let's start the tutorial so i have given all the source code in the description of the video so first of all guys you just need to initialize a simple node.js project in uh, just install express pug template engine pug and also you need to install axios library that's all so these are the three dependencies which is needed for the application so you will see pug is there so now guys uh, we will first of all initialize the express application so we will simply say require we will require the express library here and after this guys we will simply make a simple express app we will start this express application on port 5000 we will simply say that uh, app is listening on port 5000 So now guys we need to import the pug library pug so we just need to require it right here pug or this is not necessary we, we, we will simply notify basically the library uh, let's suppose we can require it like this but it is not mandatory to do this so we also need to import the axios library which will simply make the http get request now we simply need to set the view engine this is the most important thing guys we will simply use the set method view engine and then in the second parameter you pass pug which is a pug view engine and now we just need to basically make our views folder guys in the root directory of your project simply make the views folder inside this you just need to make index.pug which is the extension of this template engine so now if you reload the application we need to now make a simple get request to the home route so when the user opens the home page we just need to basically fetch the data so we will this will be a async function so we will simply say res request response and here we will fetch the data and here we will make basically a get call to the url that we provide here which is uh, https <coughs> json placeholder typo code dot com slash users so this will basically get the users data and now we simply need to transfer this information to the template that we will create which is index and uh, here we will pass the users data users and this will be equal to data that's all so we are passing this template to the index.pug file so we just need to basically now display this information in a table so here we will simply have this this is the syntax of pug template engine guys table this is very simple table and then we have the table head tag and then we have basically the table row after this we will have basically table heading and this will be three headings will be there uh, sorry four name username and then basically the email address you can see basically this is the indentation that you need to make sure that you have this inside the spug template engine and then we will display the city name so now we just need to have the table body so table body it is similar to python which also allows you to write code inside indentation so you just need to maintain some some kind of indentation as well so we will make use of each loop here we will have each user in users 
this is basically and then basically we will have table row and then we will have table data and we will display the information user dot name so this in this way you can embed variables which is uh, td is equal to so if you write like this then it will cause problems so it needs to doesn't have to be containing any sort of spaces td is equal to and here we will now display user dot username td is equal to user dot email and the fourth one is td is equal to user dot email that's all and sorry we need to have td dot address dot city in order to print out the city name that's all so now if you reload the application guys nodemon you will see it will say cannot x app before initialization okay i think yeah we just need to move this right above so now if you see if i open localhost 5000 you will see the information will be displayed here you can see that the information is displayed guys you will see name username email city and we are using the pug template engine and if you have just make any sort of mistake here td is equal to and now it will cause error you will see if you refresh here your name will not be displayed is equal to will come here so you just need to make sure that it doesn't contain spaces and now you will see that name will be displayed so in this way guys you can use the pug template engine inside your node.js express application to basically display dynamic data from a json placeholder api so thank you very much for watching this video and all the source code is given in the description of the video